up guys, got another video review for you. This time we're taking a look at Fans Project's Causality CA-12 Downforce. Uh, this is their fourth limb for their not Stunticon team, for their not Metasaur. Uh, he is the analog to Dead End. Uh, I wish I actually had a G1 Metasaur. They don't, he's one of the only combiners I don't have. But uh, I will get him eventually. But anyway, he does roll very nicely. Not sure what kind of car he's supposed to be, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, you will notice that it looks like he almost has wood grain in the, you know, the paneling looks like it's almost wood grain. Um, what they did is they, there's actually like a swirly plastic very similar to the uh, Transformers Prime Beast 100 line where they have the swirly plastic in there. But uh, obviously this plastic is a lot better. But you'll see like all these swirly marks. It almost, it really, like in hand, it really does look almost wood grainish. It's not a solid maroon color. Um, the swirls are, it looks like black or some kind of dark color just swirled in. It doesn't look bad though. It does look pretty nice. Uh, I got this gold and, I guess silver. Yeah, silver. Gold and silver stripe coming down off to one side. So you got that going on. But he is, like all the other, uh, not Stunticons. I don't even know if they have a name, like for their uh, individual team name or anything. But he is a uh, he is very small in robot mode. You can see there he is in my hand. And that is, you know, the biggest complaint with these guys is that they're small, but they're only small in robot in vehicle mode. And they're actually bigger than some of their other causality figures in robot mode. So I don't really get that. But as you can see, he is very compact, very tightly transformed. There's no hollow bits. Overall, it's very nice looking. Does need repro labels, like most third-party figures. But overall, it's very, very sleek, very nice, very low to the ground, very mean looking. Do totally dig his aesthetic. So yeah, let's take a look. Uh, like all the other figures, his gun stores underneath him. So we just pop it off. There's clips right here. So there's one clip here, and here's the other one. Just pop that off. There's the other clip, and here's his gun. So uh, what's one cool thing about his gun is that it's actually keyed. So if you look, hopefully this comes off. See, there's a groove. Look at right there. See, there's a groove coming in and out, like goes in and then swoops down. And then there's a corresponding cut in the gun. So you know which way is up. So if you put it this way, it doesn't line up. But if you put it the correct way, it lines up. So that's a very neat... I wish uh, Downforce's gun did that because his gun really sucks. His gun's a little bit better. It kind of reminds me of the Robocop gun a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, his gun is better, but I still don't like most of their guns. I think probably... Uh, Car crash is my favorite, I especially like how it becomes the uh, the exhaust. And obviously, this is just pegging in underneath. It's not actually, you know, anything, any accessory or anything. So let's transform this guy, get him into robot mode. There's a lot going on, especially up here in the arms. So I'll kind of explain everything as we go. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you just want to split it in half at the middle and lift up. There we go. It does peg in two tabs here. Pegs, pegs in right there. And I think those are the only tabs. Yeah, those are the only tabs, but there's a, it's so tight that the friction really holds most of it. Um, and when you transform it back into vehicle mode too, just be aware that this bit right here, the crotch, when it lines up down in here, in between the two legs, it usually doesn't push in all the way the first time. So when you when you squeeze this all together and get it locked down, just give it a squeeze right here and eventually that'll click in and pop all the way in. But fold the legs all the way out and that will also push the rear spoiler so just un and then unpeg them. But as you can see, these, the, uh, the rear spoiler section comes up and kind of forms kneecaps and you can uh, position those down or up however you want. Come around the back and you're just going to fold these quarter panels in. Nothing crazy going on with the legs, unlike uh, especially downforce. Then we're going to come under here and we're 
going to pull the feet away just like that as you can see right there there's a ball joint see the ball and it just so when it's in vehicle mode it hinges down like that and then when it's in robot mode you're gonna hinge it like that pull it away from the figure a little bit and then right here this whole gray bit folds back and creates the heel so it's kind of a funny looking foot but it does the job and this one unfolds, so there's the feet all done up. So now the arms. If you notice, the arms are all like Tetrisy up in there, and they fold up very similar to Steel Core. But what you want to do is you want to unpeg it and unclip it from everything, and it actually pegs in back here up here and then on the back of the fist there's a cut right there and that actually it doesn't peg in but there's a slot right there and it doesn't peg in it just helps hold it like where it needs to be so it sits flush and everything so then we're literally just going to pop it off because that's not what we're supposed to do all right so cut that pop back on um what you want to do is just pull it away and you're gonna unpeg it and it pegs in to it to the fender right there and there's a hole right there those peg together so you're just gonna unpeg it from that and then what you want to do is swing it around and then bring the shoulder all the way down um, swing that out so the elbow is facing the right way pull up the the uh, the wrist and the fist Rotate the fist nine, uh, 180 degrees. Um, the shoulder does move up and down. So you just want to kind of bring it down. Unfortunately, this does not move. This does not rotate. It's just, it does have an, a joint like that. So you can get, you know, some, get it out of the way somewhat to, for posing and such. But fortunately, you can't pop it off or swap it around or anything. It's actually um, riveted on there. So that just stays like that. Same thing on the other side. Unfold it, swing it around, pull it down, rotate everything around so that everything's facing the right way, and there we go. So next, you want to get the head up, and you literally just want to pull it up. Oh wow, I got it. That's actually the easiest I ever got it up. Um, you really got to grip it from the sides and pull it straight up don't pull it up this way on an angle at all because you'll never get it you just want to put you from this pitch it from the sides and pull it and then we'll rotate the uh the head around because you can't finish the chest well, unless the head is facing forward and next what you want to do is push so this canopy section and the chest are actually one piece so what you want to do is kind of grip it at the waist and push it push the chest in. There you go, see, you heard a click. But just like that. Next, what you want to do is fold the hood down. And I just kind of put my thumb there and push his head back just so it clears it. And then there's two rods, kind of. It's going to be hard because everything's so dark. Okay, there's two rods here. And you'll see that there's holes and there's little pegs in the chest, in the upper torso part. And that's all supposed to push down and click down. And then what you're supposed to do is there's groups. See those two cuts right there? And there's two uh, pegs right there. You're supposed to be able to push this down and peg the bottom of the chest into the crotch. And as you can see, it looks like it wants to peg in, but it's like a millimeter off, at least on my figure. And I cannot get it to peg in. It just won't do it. I actually tried shaving the plastic on these little nubs, on these rods, and on the insides here just to give it a little bit more clearance. I tried shaving just a touch off of these. I just whatever I do, I cannot get it to peg in. It just does not go. On the plus side, if you do click it in, he will have no waist articulation. Because this piece is on the legs. So if that was pegged in. That would be holding a stationary. So it's really not the end of the world. Okay, so there we go. 
So there we have Last Chance in his robot mode. And keep his heels out. Those big heels do make him pretty sturdy. So yeah, that's the only downside is that that does not click in, but I mean on the plus side, he actually has a waist now. So I mean you could always just not click that in. If yours does click, just you don't even have to click it in if you don't want to, and that will give him a waist. But just make sure that chest piece is pushed all the way back, otherwise this won't clear it and you'll have a gap. Just make sure, I'll show you what to look for. Right here. This panel right here, there's a little crack right there. Just make sure there's no gap there on uh, on either side. And that's how you know his chest is all the way in. Um, and you have to make sure the, chair, the, the head is all pulled up all the way. So if the head isn't pulled up all the way, it won't uh, clear. The chest won't clear and you won't get the hood to fold down. So yeah, there we have him in his robot mode. So as far as articulation real quick, head is on a ball joint, so you got pretty good range of motion, you got up and down, side to side. Shoulders are on a ball joint and they also move up and down. So very good range there. Double elbows. So you got really good range there. It does look a little bit funny. So you just kind of got to... Usually if you bend it down a little bit, it looks better. Um, it has this... <laughs> I guess you can call it articulation, but it's really for the transformation. Um, wrist swivel. Rotates at the waist if you don't peg the hood in. Balls at the hip. Cut above the knee. Bends at the knee. It actually will bend all the way just um, because of this panel is in the way. You get really good deep bend there. Forward, not a ton because of the kneecap. Uh, bull jointed ankles. And there's no real toe or anything. But uh, you can move the heels in and out. So just give him his gun. Every once in a while, I'll just make one of them left-handed, just so because everybody has a gun in their right hand. But not yet, not now. I know he said that as I put it in his right hand. So yeah, the face is also very cool. No light piping. I just have a nice gold face. Very awesome. Um, the only real downside to this guy, aesthetically, is are these giant shoulder bits. It's just the panels of the car sticking out. But I mean, I've seen worse. It's not really that bad. But, do dig this guy. I think he is very, very cool. The legs look really clean except for the heels, but again, who really looks at Transformers from the back. Anyway, um, hopefully, the last figure, Motor Master, I believe they're calling him Diesel, should be out, at least for pre-orders, very soon. Uh, I did see him at TFCon, and he does look fantastic. Uh, basically, the trailer is armor bits for him, and then it also is the connector boards, and the fists, and the feet, and all the all the extra bits that you need are all built into the trailer, so there's no extra parts, which is I think is a, you know I always love I always appreciate that I always love that. So yeah, can't wait for him. Can't wait to get this guy into Menasaur. Totally can't wait. Totally. So yeah, if you, uh, obviously if you're picking these guys up, you're not going to not pick him up. So I'm not gonna, I can't tell you, you know, you should buy this guy. Because if you're getting the Stunted Guns, you're going to get him anyway. But yeah, he is very cool. I think, uh, see, I, like, I think I like uh, Downforce Transformation better. But, uh, I think aesthetically I like him better. Downforce has a lot of a lot of extra kibble as opposed to this guy. This guy's a lot cleaner, which I do like. So yeah, it's about it for this guy. So next time you'll see next time you see me review the Stunticons, uh, it will be Motor Master, and we will finally get him into Gestalt mode, and I can't wait. Hopefully, it comes up before the end of the year. But anyway. This has been the video review for Fans Project, Causality CA12, Last Chance.